So we came here hard and fast because I got a little bit of a late start. This is 314. Guy was killed on a motorcycle just down there. That's why I said we came here hard and fast. So I wanted to see this. This is where we spent a month, if you watch my videos, clearing this trail so that I could hike it to get it behind me. And I wanted to see if the trail crews have been back in here since I cut all this down. And I, obviously they haven't, you know. it's. Uh, I mean, they came through one time after I was done. So you can see all this water. This wasn't here before. I wanted to just see how grown up this would be. So, looks like we're in store for a tough hike today. I brought an extra pair of socks. I probably should have brought two because my feet may get wet. But, uh, you know, will I be beating this down next year? I don't know. I'm more interested in hiking than I am. I mean, of course, in getting every mile of the Florida Trail. That's why I came back here and did this. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's get on back out and get over to where we're going to start the hike up into the Ocala National Forest. So this, uh, this should be a heck of a day. Um, I mean, this is going to be uh, interesting. Uh, I just wanted to get back up on the road before I cut this clip off. Because uh, if you were hiking the Florida Trail, you just came through Silver Springs where I cut it all down. And right here you're going to be looking. Do you make a left or a right? Because you're looking for the orange markers. You're going to make the left and head on down this way. And there's a bridge you're going to cross the Aqua River. And then you're going to go straight down 314 until you get to the entrance where I'm going to be cutting in today. Boy, I'm sorry to see all that water. I thought it was a couple days without rain. It'd be a lot drier. But let's, uh, let's get going. Okay, we've been here before, but I wanted to get the beginning of the hike. Uh, if you were hiking the uh, Florida Trail, you got about a couple mile hike down that road from uh, Silver Springs. And I don't know where you put up, you couldn't put up a tent. So you'd have to really camp back in Silver Springs as close to the edge there as possible and then uh, and then get on this road. But once you get on this trail, and we've only been about maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes up in here, I didn't see any place you'd put a tent. Now you can see what I'm doing. I'm leaving the motorcycle right here on the side of the road. And, uh, you know, a little note to Florida. You know, I don't know if they own this land but wouldn't it be nice if they could just put a little teeny parking lot right here otherwise i mean how you what are you supposed to do so we got to the bear spray uh real quick while it's on my mind a couple of equipment malfunctions uh, <clears throat> i forgot the safety pins you have to safety pin these snake leggings otherwise the uh the straps come loose and man i <laughs> that's one reason i'm running late i'm looking around the damn house for safety pins and you know something as simple as that can run a hike uh, you know, this ain't looking good. The crews haven't been back in here. You see why I have the snake leggings on? Anything could be hiding, and it's going to get deeper and deeper as we get along this trail. At least, you know, before this was cut down. So this is not a good sign, you know, as we get further up in here. But you've, you've seen it, but you haven't seen it look like this. And uh, so I'm really disappointed. Uh, the only thing I can hope for is when they did Silver Springs, they came back and got that section where this was really bad. Um, you know... We may end up turning around, but I've got the gear to hike through anything that gets waist high. Uh, but if it gets deeper than that, I probably have to turn around. Uh, the other, what was the other equipment malfunction that, uh, oh yeah, I brought the wrong pants. You know, I have multiple hiking pants. And back in the day, you know, I didn't know what I know now. And uh, you want to get the, the, uh, the hiking pants you know, the nylon with all zipper pockets, okay? Because, that you know, when your gear's in your pocket, like I got the bear spray in the pocket, you know, I got the key to the motorcycle in a pocket, and you want to zip them pockets shut because, you know, you're screwed if you get out here and you lose a piece of gear. Even something as simple as a little uh, Leatherman knife can, can save your life. So, uh, and so these pants don't have the zipper. I grabbed the wrong pair of pants. So I do have one zipper pocket. So that's where I got the most important thing which is the key to the motorcycle and uh anyway that's enough here there won't be any more video until we're about a half hour into the journey because you've already seen uh what i've seen which is uh on, you know up until there's a stream we're going to cross and then uh um you know that once we get beyond that 
I'll start taking some more video because that's that'll be all new. Look, we're gonna go in here. Well, I can only go in about three hours. So, and I'm gonna try to hike as fast as I can. Can't hike and hold the phone at the same time real fast, but uh, once I once I just kind of cut off here, I'm gonna get going. Now you can see, if you were a backpacker, you ain't no place to put a tent, and uh, anything in here could jump out at you. You know, one thing, uh, I will tell you this, because we don't need to talk about it later on, but Lisa, <laughs> the VFW, she's a native Floridian, you know, so I go to her for advice about everything, and she's, man, I tell you, she's well-versed on uh, all about Florida, and she says, I said, well, you know, do I need to worry about gators, you know, because I, there's really, you can see, I'm not, well, I'm going to be coming up on a stream, but there's not water around, and she said, well, yeah, hell yeah. Um, cause in, in, in these forests, uh, she said there's, you can just count on a gator being every 1.5 miles. And I'm, when I'm saying a gator, I'm talking about the male gator. Uh, right now they're, they're in mating season. And, uh, so, um, you know, it's, uh, they, uh, they're protecting their territory. Now look at this. See, this wasn't here last time. I gotta get through. All right, well. This journey may be daggone short. I, maybe I did all this for nothing. Because I didn't bring... I'm not going to put on my damn sandals and hike through stuff like this. Let's see if we can get around this and uh, keep on going. All right. So I just went up into the forest here. I'm telling you, it's like hiking through quicksand, man. Your feet go down. I don't... I mean, you really would need boots here. I didn't bring the boots. I didn't count on this much water. It hadn't rained in three days. I cannot believe this. Last time I was here, you can see the spider webs. That's why I got the snake leggings on. Could be a snake underneath here. You know, I'm not. I'm going to have to backtrack. I can't get through it without just soaking the feet. And shit, I, I hardly got started here. Darn it. This, there's another couple of entrances to the Florida Trail that we'll go up to. Uh, man, my feet are just sinking way down in this. All right, I'll get some more video in a minute. So I tried going right because it looked like it's somewhat dry. Your feet sink down about six inches in that stuff. Luckily, my feet are still dry. I got another pair of socks in the car. For Like I said, every day a hike's a different hike than what you expect. So I have a feeling we're, this is it for today. I can't get through this. I just don't. It's uh, I'm going to try going left here and see if I can cut away around this and who knows if i get around it that i won't run into it again but uh you know thank god i got the snake leggings i wouldn't want to be going out into the forest here I'll tell you what let's hike back a ways i'll try cutting through maybe right here i don't know that's pretty dense all right we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going i'm gonna give it a try i, I don't think we're gonna get this hike in dang gone and i was really looking forward to this i mean all that preparation and getting the gear out and I mean, I I don't know when, I guess come back in the fall, uh, you know, we I wouldn't say we're in the, the dry season, but it hasn't been that wet. I'm just so disappointed. All right, let's 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 try to get around it one more time. Maybe, uh, looks like I might be able to come up through there, although I don't think, I don't know, let's give it a try. Well, we got stymied here, and I, uh, anyway, I had to turn back. Always a welcome sight, there's a motorcycle. So uh, we're gonna continue down 314. I know of another entrance to the Florida Trail way on down, but I'm gonna make a right up here. I can't remember what name of the road is. And uh, see if I can find maybe the back entrance to this trail, but I doubt I'm gonna find it. And uh, and then just come back to 314. So look, it's looking like a motorcycle ride, but I really need the exercise. So we're gonna get a hike in today, one way or another. Even if I have to go all the way down to that Eaton Lake Trail, and uh, we, we didn't do that last time, we can hike that loop. Uh, maybe that's why the sinkhole's closed. I mean, they should have a sign here, trail closed, you know. That could be the same thing on that sinkhole trail. Maybe you just can't get around it without swimming. <laughs> you know, you don't want to swim with the gators. Okay. Well, the hike you get is not the one you expect. So I did just come down 314. We'll ride around after the hike is done around 6 o'clock this evening, you know, maybe even later. Because I am doing a long hike today. I planned for it. I'm even wearing all the gear. I just kept the snake leggings on. You can tell I, 
I got it up in there a ways. I mean, some somebody comes down this road, they're gonna have to really want that to get it out. That's locked in place, and the key is 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 uh, uh, they'd have to buy the keys unless they know how to make it. So I parked a, a ways further down. I said, well, what the hell, you know? I'd rather, uh, this is all about getting my exercise as much as it was to get a new portion of the trail. So if you recall from the last time I said in search of Eaton <laughs> Trail, that was, that was another video. But right up here is an entrance to the Florida Trail. So, uh, and by the way, I passed a 314A coming in. I'm pretty sure that's what I came down the last time when I was telling you that I saw other entrances to the Florida Trail. So uh, on my way out, I'm going to stop there and we'll get a little bit of video so just see what it looks like. Um, who knows, maybe we'll get there hiking today because I'm going to take the right hand turn up here on the Florida Trail. And uh, if you haven't watched my Eaton Trail, you know that uh, you can actually come down this road with the car. You know, uh, you know I could have come further down with the, with the motorcycle, but you know, sand, it, you know, kind of seeing, getting through the deep sand on it, if you hold your legs out and go slow on either side you know you can get there it's just when it starts spinning in the little bit deeper sand that it uh, it, it can go over on you like this right here this is not too bad but it's, it's kind of a couple inches deep but uh you know i like hiking in the sand it's good for my ankles and we're just about uh we're just all about getting exercise i'm carrying you know the bear spray i'm, I'm acting like i was doing the other portion of the trail Plus, this would be a good way for me to see how I hold up carrying all this gear. You know, I got two bottles of water. I brought a poncho because I thought if I got up in there and, you know, I, uh, something bit me or whatever, and I had to stay the night, and I brought my uh, silk blanket, you could uh, take that poncho and wrap it around that silk blanket and stay somewhat warm for the night and hope, uh, you know, a rescue party comes because I did tell my neighbor where I was going if I'm not home by dark. Uh, <laughs> that would be time to worry so i got to be sure and call him if i uh if i'm not gonna get home by dark but uh, i should be Alrighty, well let's uh let's wait till we get on the trail you've already seen this dirt road before and uh we'll start getting some video of what it's gonna be i don't think i'm gonna need these snake leggings but i thought it uh it'd be good to do a long hike with them on and who knows you know i mean I don't, i've never done this trail so uh it could be crazy it looked at the beginning of it looked really easy uh so uh we'll find out i got this on the last video but i thought i'd show it again we're not far up the dirt road from where i parked the car and there's a great place to put a car to start hiking the florida trail and boom there it is so you can kind of see what i'm saying that's why i said from what i saw this could be just a, a nice easy hike uh you know, we'll uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get back to 314A and I'll show you that entrance. Uh, the only problem is, <laughs> you know, me and spiders. I got to keep an eye out because I bet nobody's been down this this trail in a while. But uh, you see, it's nice and wide. And unlike uh, what we just attempted to do at the other end, we're on 314, just uh, north of um, Silver Springs. So, all right, here we. Go. Let's enjoy the day. We've been going on about another half an hour. It's more of the same, not much to see. I just thought I'd make a couple of comments here. Uh, if you look down, <laughs> not, a, not a single footprint, man. Ain't nobody been back here for a long time. At least, I, well, since the last rain, I guess, because they will wash them out just like in the snow. Um, what do I like about it? Uh, easy hike. Uh, I, I like the feel. I mean, you're back in here. I mean, you are in the Ocala Forest, and there ain't nobody around for miles and miles, you know. So it's, uh, it's you get that feeling, you know. I like the, the width of the trail. You know, when you're deep in the forest like this, I like being able to see if there's any uh, snakes. Uh, you know, hopefully if there's a gator sunning himself, I'll see him long before he's, you know, he sees me or is interested in me. Uh, same with the bear, you know, if you heard him, you'd hear him crashing through more than likely and uh, you could get yourself out of the uh, out of the way. Um, you know, the, what I don't like, uh, you know, I like a trail that kind of winds around a little bit. 
this is more like height and, and almost a dirt road except it's not quite wide enough uh, for for most vehicles if you we didn't want to get them scratched up but you could bring an ADV back here but you know they're not allowed this is for foot traffic only um, if you were backpacking there's lots of places to hole up and put a tent you know uh, so it's uh it's okay I mean if I get anything like if I break out into an open field or uh, we see a, a body of water or uh, you know something different I'll uh, get some more video um, you know plus I you know I do like to talk about things I had some things on my mind last night like uh, you know what would I do in the case of a gator attack on that other trail I, you know for, for one I try to keep them off with the stick you know, I try to, well, try to run from him first, <laughs> but I don't think you could outrun him. You know, even here, I mean, where are you going to go? You know, you couldn't, you try to get through that, you're just going to get bogged down. Uh, so, you know, the only thing you'd be doing is running straight away from them, and there, them suckers can go 30 miles an hour. So, you know, try to keep them away with the stick, and then I thought, well, you know, with these snake leggings, let's just show you. With the snake leggings on, I thought, you know, throw your foot in there and let him bite down on that snake legging. You know, he's got to... He's got to get through that plastic, and uh, he probably could. Now, the other jaws are pretty intense on them things. But that would give me time to uh, take the stick, or uh, I got a knife in my pocket. Maybe I could uh, stab him in the eye or something just to get him off me. You know, he's certainly not going to drag me to a body of water. Plus, I don't think on this trail you're going to see a gator. That other trail that would have. So, uh, you know, see, look, you know, once again, great place to put a tent. You know, right next to the trail. Nobody's going to be back here. Uh... So it looks like, well, I think that's just weeds up there on the trail. But, uh, you know, so that's, that's, that's a good thing. You're just not going to see anybody. You're going to have the trail all to yourself. And uh, it's, uh, and it's not to deep sand either, you know. So it's, it's not even hard on your ankles. I mean, it's just a, this is just going to be a good, long, straight hike, uh, getting some exercise. I like it shaded, okay. It is somewhat shaded. You know, it's not so wide like at Baseline or some of the other places where they've cut the trail too wide and you just get cooked by the sun. Because it is a warm day here. I think it's going to get up to 90 today, uh, which is not that hot in Florida. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, you are deep You are deep in here. And uh, if, you, if you're scared of uh, the bears, uh, I don't think you've got to worry about a gator. If you're scared of bears, you know, you wouldn't want to do this. I, I, like I said, I got this bear spray in my pocket. And I uh, got plenty of water on my back. Got a got a lunch because I am going to be out here a long time. Plan on hiking to about six o'clock. It's uh, I want to say it's uh, one thirty or two right now. So we're going to go back in here two or three hours, and then you know turn around and uh, hike back. You know that's why I, you know I like the loops. The loops are nice because it's all fresh scenery. Yeah, whereas you know the Florida Trail here is, you know you're just going to you go in a ways. And come out unless you're going to backpack it and this would be a nice nice trail to backpack i mean right here you know and come back here and camp for a night all righty that's uh, enough for now let's wait till we get a different look see what i tell you <laughs> you got you got luckily the sun caught the glint on that let's get that little guy out of the way so me and spiders and uh the other the other thing i wanted to say uh for the video is that, uh, you know, if I ever came back to do this trail, of course I wouldn't be wearing the snake leggings. You know, I, I just leave the, those behind. I wear them very rarely anyway. So you don't need that type of gear. Uh, as far as bringing the backpack, all I'd have in it be some water, maybe uh, some emergency supplies or anything like that. But uh, it's, a, it's a good hike. I'm enjoying it. Wow, I just got off of that road, and luckily I was looking, and I said, why are they saying right turn? Because you see, aren't symbols when they're, when they're diagonally like that? And then you look, and boom. So the trail's going this way. I wonder where that goes. It'd be fun to come back and, and hike that just to see what that is. You know, you know me, I'm always curious, but today we're just doing the Florida Trail. So we're going to stick to it. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's narrowing down a bit and getting a little more, uh, uh, what do you want to say, interesting here. Um, so maybe a good thing to have snake leggings on, huh? So I, I'm sure right now it's, it's, I would see them before they see me, at least I hope so, unless it's a little one. Some of them little ones, though, they're, they're pretty doggone poisonous. All right. So I just wanted to make a note here, you know, because I've hiked so much of the Florida Trail that uh, you see how these leaves are right here? 
and you're not seeing any on the ground per se, you know, that's just an indication that the trail crews haven't been back in here for a while. And, uh, but, you know, they don't need to be. I mean, it's, a, it's still an easy hike. But, uh, anyway, I mean, uh, but uh, just, to, just to tell you how little traffic this trail gets, I mean, not even the trail crews have been back. Um, so we're just continuing on down. Mainly you got to keep an eye out for the spider webs. I just cannot stand them huge banana spiders in my face. All right. So here I'm crossing uh, Northeast 170th Avenue. Isn't that nice that they've got that on the uh, the entrance to the Florida Trail so you know what road you're crossing. I was going to say it's 314A, but I guess there's one more road down. And, uh, you know, what you could do, this would be a nice place to, to hold up that motorcycle, you know, because I could just ride it up in here on the Florida Trail. Now, I know it says no motor vehicles, but uh, I'd just be going up a ways to park it, you know, just try to get it off the road. But you can see this is a heavily traveled road. <laughs> <laughs> there's cars everywhere you know uh anyway we're just continuing on across this road and uh just more of the same um but uh i do want to show you i mean that would be a great place you could bring your car probably right here and just leave it on the side of the road i don't think anybody's going to bother there's no no damn cars <laughs> anywhere i, I mean I, I suppose somebody comes down that road occasionally but, but uh, i stood there for a while and never saw a car but you can see it's uh, very well maintained. I, you know, I don't. I mean, I understand that other portion of the trail, or even in uh, in the um, uh, Silver Springs Park there. You know, uh, it, like most everything I've done on the Florida Trail has been great. All right, that's it. So you're getting all looks on this trail, and now, now you see, it's a trail. We're no longer hiking down a dirt road. It's winding around, uh, kind of narrow. Lots of spider webs, knocked a few down, and. Uh, you know, it's uh, if you if you like really being on trails and away from everything, this is a good spot on the Florida Trail to, to do. So far, no uh, no major obstacles to get across or over or through. You know, it's just uh, just kind of cut in winding around here. I'm enjoying it. I'm guessing that's the road that I pointed out when we made that turn, and they probably just wanted to make it more interesting and cut a path through the forest to make it a real path but you can see we're coming back onto the the road here so let's keep on going see now once again i was looking for the orange markers i don't know what i thought this was the trail but i'm looking right here and there's an orange marker there so we'll go this way it doesn't even look like a trail does i was going to point this out as a camping spot all right this is what they could have used on that other section of the Florida Trail that we tried to do today. I always love to see this. So they got these bridges over the water. Pretty well maintained. These have been in here a little while, but not uh, none of them are broken. Um, so you can see there's a stream here that we're going to cross. Bridges looking a little rickety. These boards. Let's see if we see a gator down in there. Huh. I don't see anything. Let's look on this side. Yeah, this is a, this is a real nice touch. Uh, some of these bridges are out on the Florida Trail, you know. It's well, you can imagine they got to get back in here. See, here's a broken board, you know. So it's uh, it's in need of repair. Wouldn't want to drop down into that water. That'd scare the hell out of me. But uh, imagine you'd survive it probably. So. Hopefully none of these boards will break, but uh, you can see this. Boy, I wasn't expecting this. Man, I tell you, these hikes, you just hit, you just hit interesting stuff, you know, that's all. Uh, footnote to the backpackers, you know, I mean, there's still places to camp, but I would have preferred to have been on that dirt road than back in here, because it's, well, you can see somebody did camp here. There's a, they had a fire there. Wanted to be by the water, probably doing some fishing, I bet. So that can understand that. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's great, great hike so far. Well, we could get a lot of hikes in back in here. So we've been coming down that road right there, and we're making a left on what this kind of looks like a road. But boy, you could come back and just hike that, see where it goes. But let's let's keep following the Florida Trail. Well, you really, I got to keep an eye out. I thought that was saying. 
go left. But if you look here, the orange markers on the trees, and once again, they might have probably had it on these roads and they cut it in as a trail. So this is gonna be really narrow. Boy, this thing just transitions quite a bit, this section of the Florida Trail. Now I'm kind of glad I got them snake licking, see? You know, I, this way, I, if I miss one on the left or the right, because it is that narrow, uh, obviously no trail crews have been back in here for quite some time. So, all right, cool. We've got to, just got to really keep an eye out now for spiderweb. So, but uh, yeah, really narrowed down. Very, uh, if it wasn't a real, real sunny day, I don't think you want to be back here. Uh, you know, and do you want, I can't stay past uh, probably 6.30 or 7, because I don't want to be that late uh, on a trail like this out in the middle of the <laughs> college forest. Hey, nobody gonna find me, you know, I mean, probably, I, I doubt anybody's been on this trail for quite some time. So, but, uh, but I like it, you know, it's got that, that windy feel and uh, you're really back here. I mean, you are really, really back here. So this is different. We're coming out into a pine, piney area. Still lots of uh, palm trees, but uh, you can see it's thinning out a bit. Uh, very nice transition here. Boy, look at that uh, grassy area over here. That looks like a swamp or a pond, maybe. I don't know. Well, like Lisa said, there's a, <laughs> there's, there's a gator within 1.5 miles of everywhere you go because there's water everywhere you go here in Florida. So, yeah, but this is uh, very nice. Uh, I like the transition here. So, and also it's kind of winding around a bit. That's good.